Hey everybody, thank you for watching the Up Next a YouTube channel. Today we are gonna be going over the 2022 Clover Duo and the new features that come with all brand new Clover POS systems. And what you have probably noticed if you already have an existing POS system for the last year or two from Clover, there are some cool updates in the latest software updates for the first quarter of 2022. So let's go ahead and get into it. First, we're gonna go over to the setup app, which is located right here. So go ahead and click here. Now you're gonna have a long list right here of all your options. We're gonna start here at order receipts. Now, Clover did a great job with this recent update with hearing out the business owners that use the system and adding a lot of things that have been requested over the past year, so that is great. So let's get into the first thing that is new. First thing that is brand new and you can see here is printed dotted lines between light items on order receipts. So when you have an order printer, whether it's a Star SP700, Star TSP100, you use a kitchen display screen, or you're using the, um, the receipt printer that comes uh, with Clover that you can set up for an order ticket, you can now print dotted lines in between each item. So let's check that out. So if you notice on this side of the screen right here, right, you will see a example order ticket. This example order ticket has one chicken sandwich, a couple modifiers, and two large beverages. Now, there's no, there's no separation between the two, and a lot of people always ask, hey, can we have lines printed? So what we were doing in the past is adding an item that had a bunch of lines on it, and you would have to put that in after each item, which was definitely cumbersome. So Clover heard the, um, heard the complaints about that and has added this. So if you will go ahead and click the printed dotted lines between, between your order receipts. Now, every single item, after each item, and this is fully automated, this will happen automatically. So you have your one chicken sandwich, you have your modifiers, then a dotted line. Now two large drinks, then a dotted line. Then another dotted line to separate it for the rest of the order ticket. So this is really nice because if you wanna be able to clearly see, especially when your kitchen is nuts going crazy, you wanna clearly see what item goes to what modifiers and you wanna look at it quickly, this is a great feature to turn on. So again, that is printed dotted lines, um, printed uh, dotted lines between line items on order receipts. You wanna make sure that is checked off like we have there. For now, I'm gonna check hours down. Secondly, we have the show printed time, which is located right here. The printed time for this order ticket would be 1.30, let's say, right? So if you wanted to see what time it was printed compared to when the food was actually sent out to the table or the food was packaged up to go to the customer for takeout, you'll be able to toggle this on and off. This is how it looks with it on. This is how it looks with it off. If you are looking not to have that on there because you wanna shorten the order receipt so it's as short as possible, I would def definitely recommend turning that off. But if you're a fine dining establishment and you really like to keep track of, hey, when the person sits down, within five minutes, they should be getting their drinks or whatever the case may be, that is a good feature to keep on, but it's really just preference, so you do have both options. But it will shorten up the order receipt by about a half an inch to an inch. So if your order receipts you feel with Clover are too long, that's a great way to do that. Now, as we are going, we can also now switch over to payment receipts. Go ahead and click payment receipts right here. This one was I thought was really cool personally, and that is the, let's see, modifiers. Modifiers, don't include modifiers or include modifiers. So let's say this chicken sandwich, the base price was $8, but they added extra cheese, which is a dollar upcharge or a dollar add on modifier. Now, let's say you don't want that shown on every single one of your tickets. You just wanna show your customers your chicken sandwich cost $9 as you bought it. You can have that turned on, but let's see how it looks with it turned on. All modifiers, click on save. Now you can see the chicken sandwich base price was $7.50, adding Swiss was $1.50 and wheat was $0. Now, if you wanna be fully transparent with your customer, show them the exact breakdown of what they're buying. Again, this is just preference, and but you do not wanna show the, um, the non-priced modifiers. You can also do that. So as you can see, the base price is $7.50. The Swiss cheese was $1.50 upcharge, but the wheat bread was not any upcharge. So why waste room on your, on your uh, payment receipt for something that didn't add money? Don't worry, you can take care of that. So if you go ahead and click on modifiers again right here, you can select only priced modifiers, click on save. So now you can see base price 750, Swiss is $1.50 add-on. I think this is great because a lot of the time um, we, we at Nexo we use modifiers for a number of things, whether it is to keep track of your covers, Keep track of if you're a fine dining restaurant and you want to know what item goes to what seat at the table 
but you do not want to show that on your payment receipt, this is a great way to show unpriced, uh, to, to hide unpriced modifiers on there, especially if it's really just for internal stuff. So that is great. Now, if we keep on scrolling down, is there anything else on here? I don't think so. Um, actually, yes. So there is the group items by guest. This is really, really cool. So if you're dropping off a bill, you're a sit down restaurant or you're at the bar and you drop off the bill, you can have it once you turn this on, you'll be able to see what each guest has taken. This is specifically made for when you take the $69.99 Clover Dining um, setup. So if your software is set up for Clover Dining, which is the uh, table mapping and things like that, you can have this turned on so the guests can see exactly what their total is per guest. Very nice feature, well done Clover. You know, that's definitely a good one there. Now staying on the setup app, if you go up to online ordering, this is what I think is probably the best add-on, which is not the Clover online ordering that's always come with Clover, orders by Google and, or, and uh, the Grubhub integration. So the orders by Google, let me give you an example on that. Let's say you own uh, Joe's Pizza, right? And you look up Joe's Pizza on Google. So on your Google profile, there will be a big button there that says order online. That those orders filtered through there will be directed through Clover POS. So those orders will print out automatically on your Clover station, go to your order printers. We just posted an online ordering video so you could check that out on our page to see more about that. Now, they also added a direct integration with Grubhub. In my experience, especially with uh, quick service restaurants, they need to accept as many orders as possible. So they're on Grubhub, DoorDash, uh, Uber Eats, uh, everything else. So they hate having all those tablets lying around. With Clover, with Grubhub now and DoorDash and um, Uber Eats starting in a month or two, everything is filtered through Clover. So your Grubhub orders get accepted on the Clover. There's gonna be a notification pop, uh, box that pops up here at the top, which is really, really nice. You can accept the order directly through there and the order will print out at whatever you know whatever printer you want whether you have a star uh, printer for orders or you want to print out at your clover uh, station printer you can have that set up so those are some pretty cool features that clover has added and lastly we're going to hit the home button uh, to go to the home screen and we're going to see this purple box right here time clock home base and time clock has always always been available with clover but now they have it set up instead of shifts it automatically comes with home base Home base is completely free. It comes with your Clover subscription. It's just a more robust um, clock in, clock out reporting feature. So not only can you have your employees clock in and clock out, but it will connect directly to ADP, Gusto, paychecks, so on and so forth. So you don't have to convert the data. So if we hit continue for free right here, you can see it's an automatic sign in. You're gonna have to be a uh, Clover admin to look into this. But point of the matter is you can clock in and clock out, full reporting, full tip reporting, and then of course this is accessible on your dashboard. So this has been the Clover new features that they released for the 2022 update and the 2022 new Clover models. Super excited about this. Have any questions, please feel free to comment below and of course subscribe to the Updexa YouTube channel.